He's he's here, really. He's 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 here. <laughs> I've heard. I, I heard the pitter patter of Jeff feet, um, and the fact that he was just on the show before us. Uh, so, as we wait for Jeff to, I'm not gonna wait for Jeff. He'll make it over here. It's you know it's really far from that studio to this studio. It's like like five feet, and you know it's gonna take a minute. But it's all right. I can start talking about what we've got going on, and uh, he'll come on in and, and jump on in with us. So this is the last show of our season. Yay! We've been working on these helms all season long. We're finally at a point where we're just about finished, and this, look, it's a jump. I'm here, hello. Huh. Whew. Hello. I was in a dungeon crawl. That's okay. I did your voice. It's great. It's fine. With no problem. Hey, everybody. <laughs> hey. Oh, what is this? <laughs> so, ah, while you were out, we built you a So this is where we are uh, at the moment. We've uh, we, we f finished up what we were doing with all of the skinning it all the way around. Ah. We finished up with oh a lot God, of paint. Look at this. <laughs> and there are just a couple things left for us to do. This is awesome! Hey! Hey! Of course it's awesome. What do you think I was gonna let Robin and, and people just paint slobber paint all over it? And knock the table over? I Dude. heard about that. I haven't seen what happened, but I heard about that. Hi, I've been TV. stuck in a dungeon crawl for some time, and I just finally got out of it, but wow! Yeah, so this is where we are. This is so cool! I've got I've got these little pads out to, to be under the glue. Keep it on it so we don't oh. just get glue oh, on no. the table. Oh no, it's my worst enemy. We've got glue. Hot glue. Look at this. Yeah, we've got glue on both sides. You get your own hot glue. I've got the hot one and you've got the less hot one. I, because I've seen this show. <laughs> many people, many people have seen this show. All right, so let me, let me right. recap a little bit here and we'll jump into what we're doing. So the, the skin on these that we're doing is a, a process where we take paint on some template. And I actually have a piece here. This is a, a, a texture template for polymer clay. And you would press your polymer clay there and peel it off and get that particular yep. pattern on what you're trying to do. Here is what I've been doing this whole thing with. I actually painted it, just straight up paint on the texture. Really? A couple of layers deep. And, and here's where we have to paint backwards. So here, these are just straight gold. So I just did a couple layers of gold. Look at that, that's insane. Stuff with the, the, the texture here, where I really wanted that shine come through. Not only was I using metallic paints here, but then I backed it with a layer of silver before getting to, to really get that in. So it's like layering yeah. paint, but backwards. Once you have all the paint layered, then you put a couple of layers of Mod Podge over it. And once really? that's completely dry, we can take this, just with a little blade, once oh. I get it going, oh. peel up the edge. Oh, I almost got it. The Mod Podge there, and I kind of folded that over a little bit, but that's all right, this is just a test one. And I can carefully peel it away. Hey, if you're not going to use that piece, I'll use it. Yeah, you got it. And then I've got the whole piece there. And I can trim it as I need to. See how these, I trimmed it down a little bit. Um, once it's on, I can cut it a little bit. It will actually stick for a lot, a real, rather well to the helm because it's already backed with Mod Podge. But if I need to stick it, I can so use a little hot glue or a little more Mod Podge to get it where I want it to, to go. I can um, use this in my dungeon. So once, once we have that, then we can just uh, attach it wherever we want. The neat thing is that we can make whatever texture we want to make as long as we can find the sheet in this form or silicone or whatever it is that we're doing. Um, the downside is, time <laughs> this takes each panel takes about seven hours because all of the, the layers have to dry in between before you put another layer on that's insane. the first layer has to dry and so when you have a panel that's like the these were a panel this full size this four by six and so, you know, it, it went faster. But when you have just a little panel like that, just a little two by three, like is on your helm, 
enough to come around <laughs> takes a very long time. But gosh darn it, it was worth it. Well, yeah, but... The nice thing is that the specific Mod Podge I was using was the fabric version. I don't know that it matters a whole lot, uh, but I know that that's a little more flexible. Don't eat the... It's toxic. What are you thinking? Well... All right. So, um, it, it, is, it is still flexible when you're finished with it. So if you were to back it on, say, uh, some thicker fabric of some sort, like yeah. a pleather or something like that, as long as you coat the front with a little Mod Podge to keep it from getting all nicked up, you could effectively make all sorts of stuff with it. So that's where we're now. Moving on to today, we've got a couple of things to finish up these helms and yep. a full hour to do it with, well, less than a full hour now. So on your side, you've got, you wanted to, to, to polish it off and because we didn't quite finish with the back, I yeah, actually, you were wanting to add some more stuff to it. I actually had brought some uh, fake, you know, floral leaves that you can get at the store and some little bit of cobweb to add into my piece. And really, wow, this is so cool. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I cannot get over this. I know I have been gone for a while, but I'm just, like, looking at this, and it's just amazing the amount of detail that goes into something like this. Okay. And, I mean, I, if you look back to see what we started with, we started drawing the stuff on pen and paper, and then now, wow. And dude, what is this? Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I Here's the next it. step on mine. So I left, I've been talking about this the whole time because I found this stuff, and I left the front this whole, I wanted to do some trim on the front of the helm. And so you should see that I left it blank, and basically, as I put the layers of the Mod Podge on, I simply cut away from my pattern where I wanted to do something else. Yeah. This is the something else. This stuff what is, is normally used in a machine called a cry cut machine, which means you 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 computer generate a particular pattern, you roll this stuff in, it cuts out exactly what you want, and then you put that on things. This is adhesive backed vinyl. Uh, they also have a uh, iron on version. So it depends on the craft that you're using. I don't have a cry cut machine. They're pricey, but this stuff is about five bucks uh, a roll. Now a roll isn't real, real long. This is a whole one. It's like uh, yeah. 12 inches by 24 inches, but um, it is exactly what I am needing. Let me give some weight in here to keep this thing still. All right for what I'm doing. So I, I have a pattern here that's the, the piece that I used for the front of the helm. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is carefully cut out. So the table actually really did fall over? The, the table fell over, yes. <laughs> the, I'm gonna carefully cut straight, cut out following my pattern. <coughs> this is so neat. I love All right. the paint gonna, detail, the everything. It looks like it's like here. made out of like a, like almost like scales or like goblin skin or something like that. I mean, just take a look at that. That's the really best part about this, I really have to say is like, I really especially like the fungus and how that ended up on here. If you just see that, it's just fascinating. So this whole back piece is all completely not done yet. You can see where uh, in the beginning I put the markings on, where we glued everything and such, but it's gonna be okay because now I'm gonna be able to cover it with all these autumn leaves and get that autumn attire pl uh, placed into this whole entire helmet here. I really like the way yours turned out. That is just, it's fascinating. Oh my gosh. Does it say elf? Does it say what? Elf. Elf? I Does started it say elf? <laughs> I started going with, uh, once I was going with the scale, I figured with that lizard print that we could, I could make any color I wanted. And so with the paint that I found that pretty much matched this uh, uh, cry cut stuff that I was going to use, yeah, I figured that it would uh, work as one of the uh, dragon riders from Warhammer. I gotta focus here and not cut myself. 
Well, hey, as long as you don't cut yourself, hopefully I won't burn myself. Because everyone has, has been watching our show for some time knows that I'm, I, I, I know how to burn myself. You are indeed slightly prone to burn to myself. Yourself. Yeah, I mean, it happens. It's all right. It's not too bad. Dude, this is just so cool. I, I just cannot thank you guys enough for all of this. It's amazing. And, you know, Chris, I really have to say, you know, we've, we've gone through a lot together uh, with all, this, all the crafts and everything we've done and the years of LARP and everything. I just have to say overall, man, thank you so much for it. This is a great, this has been a really great opportunity to work with you in, the, in the, the workshop here. Well, reality is that every opportunity to work with me is great. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I love Be you. Because I'm so humble. You are so humble because you were like a little bumble. Um, Wait, does that make sense? I don't know. That does not make any sort of sense. <laughs> All right. So, um, if you guys are tuning in, we're Combat Creations. Uh, hello. <laughs> uh, we basically just take things and... <laughs> if you guys are just tuning in, Jeff was here the whole time. I Yeah, I was not here. Here, I was here the whole time. <laughs> oh, my God. Real life is a thing. It happens, and it's all right. They, we we are a very understanding family here. Oh my God! I almost co I almost burnt myself. I can feel the resonating of the heat. Just like oh look oh oh touch it no touch no touch no touch no oh oh no. <laughs> it's been it's been really great. Oh all right, man. That dungeon crawl. I was stuck in there for a long time. <laughs> this is just awesome. And I really like the technique on this and just the way the horns turned out is just overall this is just so well, the the one with the one had some decor added last week and it was originally orange with some black raised decor and I liked the raised decor but I know that you were going for black horns yes and so I did a light coat of black over it so that it's not bright orange but if you look closely you can still see the the raised yeah I do see that yeah there. definitely not my intention to go with an, the orange I heard the uh, it was the uh, girls from Mary Sue that wanted to do that <laughs> they're cool they're cool you know uh, we have a uh, where's the cutting utensil here we are all right, so what we're gonna go ahead and do on this end. So the little piece that he just uh, took off, I'm actually gonna take it. I'm gonna cut it right in half. And then what I'm gonna do is kind of trim around some of the other stuff that we don't need. And then we're gonna go ahead, here we go. Hey, do you want any of this uh, scrap vinyl? Um, so it's adhesive back, so you cut off what you want and you peel it off and add it to your your thing. Up, I up, would, up to you. I it's, would. It may be totally the wrong color for, for what yeah, you're doing. Yeah, definitely the wrong color for with what I'm doing. <laughs> we just had uh, we had Robin uh, in the background over here just kind of give me the stare down because I mentioned about the girls from Mary Sue. Uh, they did a good job. Yeah, they, they did all right. <laughs> no, I, I definitely appreciate them for hopping on and everything else like that. So let's see. All right. Let me get this. So as I cut uh, through this weird this design. vinyl-y stuff, it, it's, uh, it's a little thicker than just cutting through straight paper. And yeah. I'm trying but, to be careful oh, with it. Oh, that stuff that you're doing right now? Yeah. Yeah, and this... so I've got all my score marks, but there's a little bit that I had to kind of trim up there. Now, so I gotta say, I really hope I see you wearing this at a Renaissance fair. That would be well. Really I need uh, the rest of the outfit. I don't know what the rest of the outfit's gonna be, but um, it will be shiny. It will be shiny. Shiny, shiny. It depends. On, you know, this is like. Some of the suits of mail that I've made, when I get to the end, and mail takes forever. But when I get to the end, I think, hey, I'm finally at the end. Maybe I want to make another one. And then I start into it and then realize, whoa, what was I thinking? All right. Well, I mean, it happens, you know. 
Now, in order to get this on just like I want it, I'm actually going to start in the middle. Get some of the that's going to be neat. Oh, gold away. band just around the horn right there. So with these two pieces, I'm going to come up right here. Right. Actually, I'm just going to put on the back of these. Now, let me see if I could do this straight and on camera. All right. You got it, better? We're going to start right Whoa. here in the middle. Right there in the middle. We're going to go in the most my. Okay. I'm going to take another glue stick. I'm going to dab this down. Because I don't want to burn myself. I'm tired of doing that. I haven't burned myself all season. And I'm really hoping it doesn't happen. Well, so We also, to be fair, haven't had the uh, hot glue out all season. Which has been great. <laughs> all, right. all right. So we're going to kind of do this. Oh, I just so, took my card. Yeah, I grabbed that. I tore this paper, the backing paper, in half. Oh, give it. All right, okay. At the base of this, I've gone just a little too far. Let me trim this down just mm -hmm. a hint. We'll come back to me in a minute. Okay. And then what I want to do is kind of do a little seal right there. This is neat. All right. I'll seal over this other spot. Show this again. There we go. So that should be uh, glued down now. Now I have like a little gold band around the top one horn because you know the other one was like, oh hey, it got knocked off. What happened? All right. Actually, I'm going to turn this around so you guys can, uh, over at home, can kind of see what I'm doing with this helmet here. So basically, I'm kind of going down over around and everything else like this. And there's about four different leaves coming off this. We're going to save this one. I, as I'm almost thinking I might have some leaves come out of my broken horn. Because that whole entire inside of the broken horn, that's completely, that's hollow. It was completely hollow. So, you know, think about it like, oh, what can you do with that? So we're just gonna add some glue right there. And we're gonna leave this one with the stem on because I kind of want to raise some of these leaves and kind of have them go out a different direction or otherwise. So here we are. And these are great. These are so stupid cheap at, you know, craft stores. Like half the time they have like the floral on sale or something like that when you're going shopping. Let's kind of do this a little bit more. Let's do this way. What we'll do is kind of have it come up. I was watching a crafter maker online yeah. the other day, and he was doing a video and was was uh, sponsored by Joann's, or specifically Joann's. Specifically, like the new. Yaya Han um, foam that's there. And so he went to go get some and doing like every other craft person does when they get in Joann's, pulled out the coupons. <laughs> coupons. coupons. You pay full price at Joann's, you're a newbie. Yep. Now I have finally, for the first time, signed up for Joann's coupons. And oh my gosh, I spent something, I just had a show this past weekend, and I uh, spent, I was supposed to spend like maybe about $200. Coupons made it like less than 100. And I was like, how did I save over $100 with stuff? Coupons. Joann's. Joann's and their coupons. They are great, great people, so we highly recommend them. <laughs> uh, don't go. Don't, don't go to, you know, other places like Hobby Lobby. We don't like them. Set it. Don't care. <laughs> All right. So now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go here. Okay, some other so. Stuff. I really like these brown. Some of the shaping. They look like it's been there for a while. Some of the shaping here of the foam. I need this knot. 
as smooth as I wanted. I'm gonna live with it. Oh, I'm so scared when we get like burned here. Dude, we're almost done with this whole entire project. I mean, well, with the headpiece, <laughs> it took us off. <laughs> whole season to get all this done. All right, ready? Wait, wait, wait. Bam! Oh, oh, I was like, are we putting it? Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, that's, okay, that's really neat. I really like that. That is, that is, that is amazing. Look at, look at that shine. Look at this shine! Look at the lights, how the light hits it. It's got a little more green than the color shift on the rest of the paint, but it's still got the same colors that the rest of the color shift does. What so I it appreciate still is works. it pops. It really pops that out, which is really cool. And that's just a couple of bucks, plus I have a whole lot more of the roll to be able to use on other things. Now that stuff doesn't just come in metallic, it comes in some matte colors. Um, I've seen some folks use some of the other metallics and stuff for like sci-fi props and things like that. Um, and if I really wanted, I've got a spot sticking up here. Uh-oh, gotta get that spot. That's yes, right. If I really wanted, um, I could probably put some around the, the edging inside. The thing that it won't do is compound curves. So uh, you can't use it where you're gonna, where you're gonna have something like that going on. Um, without modifying your pattern heavily. But, there you go. Step one, done. Now, um, as you keep going with yours, I've still got another step on mine. Yours fits your head. We've tried that multiple times. Yours, does it, mine does it fit? It's a bit large, uh -oh. but it's okay. I've got that covered too. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Because I have a back piece that's gonna come down and it's just gonna have a bunch of little autumn leaves. But, let's see. Got a little gold, I put a little gold band up here and then you turn around. That's kinda cool. That's I looking like good, it. that's looking good. All right, like it. it's like so the next thing I'm going to mind is the ability to put it on my head. <laughs> and I've already kinda prepared a little bit of that. I've got this, this strapping material this is just uh, some some basic uh, webbing sort of stuff. People use it for belts and straps and all sort of things like that. Comes in about two to three yards worth for a couple of bucks. Um, I took, this is one package. That's it, one package. It's the entire package. But what I did was. The entire package? Yes. What I did was, I just measured it loosely. I'm, I did a circle around my head figured out where it overlapped, stitched a little bit, did a piece over the top, over the side, so it would sit there, and then I made a bunch of little tabs here. So basically, without the helmet, I've got silly looking thing on my head. But with all these tabs, and especially leaving them long like this, I can put it into the helm, and I'm gonna hot glue them in place, and I can glue them exactly where they. I want them to hit on the edges of the helm to keep it where I want it. And having several of them on there means that the weight is spread out over a bunch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue down on the helm, add the strap, and then I'm gonna do some hot glue over the back of the strap to kind of encase it and really okay. hold it on there. I like that, all right. Wait, you're gonna hot glue that to your head? Yeah, yeah totally, you, you heard exactly. No, I'm not gonna hot glue it to my head. All right, so I'm just kind of measuring out exactly where I want the front. And then what I'm gonna do, this part, at least on the front part, might be a little bit difficult to see. So I've got a couple of straps here. I'm gonna lay down, let's see. Just to have a marker of some sort. All right. Okay, now this is gonna get pen. difficult. Cause you're doing that, but now I'm trying to add these, uh, this into my horn to where it looks like leaves are coming out and I have to place this perfectly right, otherwise it's not gonna work correctly. So there's a little spot right there that I have to make sure when you're looking at the helmet, are these leaves gonna be showing the upside or the downside of this? <laughs> there's an upside and a downside to everything. 
<laughs> All right, so I've got my marks in there for the front panels. I also have to make sure this doesn't. Hit them up with a pile of glue on both sides. Okay, here we go. And my front panels. Press on. And press that one on. I know, camera, you can't really see what I'm doing. Let me <laughs> show you. All right, so I've got the first two in place there. I think that's viewable. Uh, uh, so, there we go, sort of. Um, Sir, I could have went up what? There, there are a couple there of straps. They're in there. I can't angle this right. All right, we'll come <laughs> back. And uh, now I'm gonna add a little hot glue over the top, making sure that what I add over the top connects with a little bit of the pile underneath that's stuck out. Right now I'm trying to make sure this glue actually sticks to this horn. Almost got, there we go. Perfect. Need to, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. It's warm, it's warm. I'm so scared, I don't wanna hurt myself. Oh, I haven't done it all season, I'm so happy. Then again, we haven't used it, so it's all right. So. I'm gonna give those a minute to cool off a little bit. I don't like it. I didn't like it either, what? I uh, was gluing the horn, I was gluing the uh, leaves and I saw what it looked like and I was like, nope, don't like it. No. But it's okay. I'm just going to leave. What I'm going to do, I think, is I'm just going to honestly leave the horn completely blank and just show that it's broken. And maybe later on in time, I will add maybe like a little... Maybe... Uh, like a little bird's nest. Put a baby bird in it. Maybe later on in time, we can put the hot glue so over scary. the little pad here so we don't get hot glue all over the table. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Bird's nest on it? Why? That's so generic for... Yeah. No. That's... No. Unless you could make the birds like sound. But I did bring in some cobweb and I was like, you know, I can really use some of the like, you know, the cobweb you get from Halloween. It's a kind that stretches out really neat and everything. And I'm just like, I could totally do this and put some cobweb on it and go from there. But this cobweb is pretty like, uh, break, it, it breaks easily and everything. So what I really want to do, a uh, nice little cool technique I learned is, well, I don't have an airbrush. Normally what you do, you would take an airbrush. Um, you would have, if you wanted, uh, you would take your hot glue gun, you take your airbrush like this, and you would hold down on the trigger and just use the air grunt and just does like webbing effect. Yeah, so, what we, I we learned that from um, Face Off. Yes. <laughs> Actually, that's exactly where I learned it from. I was watching Face Off the other day. I was like, oh, hey. So what I'm gonna do instead, I'm gonna take this, make a little bead. I mean, credit where credit is due. And then right there, there we go. That was a season with, with Roy on it. Roy is a crazy cool maker. A crazy cool maker, tell me all about it. Well, he was on the, he was on the show and he made the heck out of stuff. A little warm. So if you can take a look at the horn, you see how this piece is now coming in. But like that. Ah, uh, that's looking good. Yeah, I like it. See? All right, guys, so if you kind of look at the uh, horn over here, you can see how it's barely visible, but basically this is gonna make it that web effect and such like that. So. If I can do this correctly, I can actually make it look like there's a little spider web right here. And I'm gonna have it kind of go through and trail through the leaves a little bit as well. And a little bit will come on the front side end of but the uh, you know helmet. what can't happen? What? Marvel can't make it look like a little spider web anymore because Sony said, nah, we're good. Yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> <sighs> what are you thinking? What are you thinking, guys? What are you thinking? Isn't that crazy how that is? I am really liking the way this turned out. All right, so I did this, the back. Now I'm just going to hit the sides.
There we go. One side in. Now, part of the reason I made these straps that I'm using to uh, attach it extra long is so the helm is bigger than my head. And this one mostly is taller than my head. And so it just needs to stop from, from sinking down on me. It's not bigger, really much bigger around. But if you had something that was a little bigger around, you wouldn't want it to, uh, to flop around. And so by uh, having the pieces uh, extra long when I put them in, I can attach them out to a variety of spots in the helm and make sure that it's nice and secure. I like for all my projects to feel nice and secure. Well, as long as they don't, uh, and also you want to do that because you also want to make sure when you're walking around, you, if you do like vivid motions, physicality comes into play, you also want to make sure that it doesn't fall off, because especially if you're doing a show, because the worst thing is to have so, like a prop or a costume piece come broken during a show. I've had that many of time and not know what to do. <laughs> you just, it, it creates a good laughter. It's just like, oh, uh oh. Or it's like a very important piece. You know, like someone's going to be throwing a baby off a roof and off a roof of a castle. And then you just see the baby just bounce. Fake baby. We should, we should, fake uh, baby, fake baby. That's the thing. We should specify. <laughs> I've seen that happen many of ten now. Okay, there we go. Just do a big dab. And always, right always in. fake babies, many a time. Yes, don't, please, don't ever. The real ones don't bounce. Yeah, real ones don't <laughs> bounce. <laughs> no, seriously, the real ones don't bounce. Don't do it. Yeah. Craft something! I am crafting something, Chris! What are you doing? Uh, I'm letting my straps cure. You're letting your cool straps off. cure? But look, look, so what I'm doing is basically, I'm having the webbing go through, you know, do, do, do different angles and everything. And then, what I have come on, I have come from one side, and I kind of go around and collect the other side. So, it kind of looks like it's being web together so I'll come over here do a dab and then I'll come over and it starts collecting I go back and forth and it this will... does mean that you're gonna have to uh, be real careful in storage of that oh yes of course I actually already have a mannequin head that is at home and ready but look at that look at that look at how much that is now. And if at some point you end up with a real spider on it you'll never know nope that's happened many of time I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I really love how that's gone on here so nicely. That's that's pretty cool, dude. Uh, yeah, some spots not quite as smooth, but you know what? I'm going to live with it. Anybody that right says, here. oh, I don't like that spot, will get some sort of elven stare of derision. Elvin stare to reason. Yeah. Those are good at that. They just stare at you and you feel inferior. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. All right. I really, um, how is your uh, charisma holding up, by the way? Oh, so the other day <laughs> I was out somewhere. And so I found this shirt online. A friend of mine, uh, Banana Chan pointed out a friend of hers that was making these. They have them for all six of the D and D stats. And uh, so somebody told me, somebody told me, you know, Christmas isn't really your dump stat. And I said, you know, the rest of my stats are so good. That's just what's left. No, but I was out somewhere ah. having lunch, and uh, wife and I were. I waiting. appreciate that. We were waiting for a table. And uh, this one guy looks over and saw it, and he laughed. And I knew that was my people. And uh, so some ladies who worked there behind the counter, they were looking at it and looking at it. And this one lady's like, Chris, and reading out, Christmas is my dump stat. I just, I don't get that. What, what's going on? And Christmas like, is my dump stat? Well, Christmas. I, no, oh, no, okay. Reading. I thought but, you said Christmas. No, and, and I said, yeah, I didn't feel like explaining it. I just said, well, it's a gaming thing. Don't worry about it. 
and we went on, had our food, and on the way out, one of the other ladies said, who had been behind the counter, she was going out to, to wait on a table or something, and as she passed me, she leaned over and said, Dex is mine, and kept walking. <laughs> That's funny. I love it when there's secret gamers around. I, I kind of worry, though, is... that she's carrying plates and stuff, and Dex is her dump stat. That, that might be problematic, but maybe that's how she knows. That That's a possibility. All right. All of these have cooled down significantly. All right, here we go. Testing this out. Stays on my head where I want it to stay on my head. I have a helm. You have a helm. I look like I cut off a melon. <laughs> I like your helm. It's a neat helm. I might have to play with the front just a little bit neat. there. I like this. I definitely want to, okay, there's that. So, and, you're, and, and the nice thing is that when you're working on your guys' project, make sure you always put it on so it fits. Or if it looks good, you know, if it might not be something that I'm really liking, then I'm gonna fix it. Yeah, I think I may trim just a little over the eyes. In fact, I actually think I may use some of that stuff. Possibly, possibly not. What else we got over here? Let's see. <laughs> do, 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 do. Uh, hand me the knife you were using, please. Here's the knife I'm using. Give me a second. Let me just clean that out for you. All right. I want that nice go. longer blade when I trim this down a little bit. Yeah, of course. Uh, we're about to lose the table here. <laughs> we're going to pull a robin. We're going to pull a robin. Yeah, those girls really rigged this. Look at this, dude. All right, I got this repaired. I'll, I'm going to... Don't... <laughs> Just stay where you are. I got this. I am becoming one with the leg. Oh, wow. Excuse you, that was a Lauren. <laughs> I, so I just, I blame you. Yeah, we're going to blame Robin for everything now, even though it's one of her other girls. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay. Having some issues? Yep. Is this, is this it? Yep, this is. That's it. Don't move. <laughs> hey, while you're down there, be aware that we've got two hot glue guns and I'm using a knife. What? Okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to fix the table. It's great. How you doing up there, Chris? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good so far. Uh huh. Okay, I, I think, I think I got it. Nope, no, I don't. All right. I'm alright. I was worried. This is my worried face. <laughs> Oh, that really hurt. That's all right, though. All right, let's see that. That is really neat. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a lot better. I still may trim it right around here. It's bumping into my shoulders. Right but into the shoulder line. So yeah. you can always come in and just come in with, like, a slight little moon, you know, like, little moon shape going in right there. Yeah. That's pretty neat, dude. I really like it. Probably better without the, the glasses. I kind of covered it in autumn, but I'm going to have a little piece that will be connected to it eventually that will kind of just hang off. It'll just be like a nice little back piece. And then probably I have some bracers I could put on and everything else like that. Yeah, kind of import we'll definitely it. see a good start. So, so let me recap what we've been doing to get to this point. Yes. So to start off with, uh, we did definitely throw out some designs, at least some stuff to sketch from and kind of understand what it was we're aiming for. Now, what we've ended up with is not what we started off for. <laughs> But that's okay, we had something to go for, we had some ideas to generate and, and build off of. Uh, now, Jeff is, was using some patterns from Kamiyu Cosplay. Which, thank you so much, it was, both, it's been awesome. Both for the helm, which is a free one from their, down, from their website, mm -hmm. and then the horns, which is something that I paid for. Um, 
and, and then I, I did not use a pattern. Uh, what I did was measure out and sketch out what I wanted full size and I made a, a bit of a stand, put foil all over it and duct tape to sketch out the shape and turn that into a pattern and thus created a pattern for the foam pieces. The foam that we're using um, is the, the higher end stuff from, um, from a guy. <laughs> you didn't forget. It's, it's been a week. It, um, has, it has definitely been a week for us. So We've been very busy. We got, we got some of the professional grade foam uh, from, from Steve at SKS Props. There you go. Yeah, Steve. Uh, both the, the foam as well as some foam clay. And, and that's where he cut it out for. But even then, it wasn't exactly a huge amount of cost difference over using some of the cheap foam. The The quality was so much better. Um, if, if you can, bump up the extra and go for the good stuff. Which is now in craft stores. Um, the uh, Yaya Han is the same stuff that we were using, uh, only it is black. Uh, so where we were marking things out, which is general marker, markers, sharpies, and stuff like that, you would want something uh, that's white or silver that you can see uh, on the black foam if you go that direction. But it's right there available. They even have little uh, uh, dowels of foam so that you can get sort of round shapes, half moon shapes, all sorts of things like that. Um, after that, uh, we put things together using barge cement, uh, which is the, the go-to stuff. Uh, in order to put everything uh, together, get it all nice and, and connected up there. Um, and from that point, we started to uh, plaster dip over these mm -hmm. and uh, found that for some reason at the time that I was doing it, things were reacting differently than everybody else in the world. So we held off on that. We used some foam clay uh, partly for some seams and smoothing things out, partly for the fungus that ends up on Jeff's helm over here uh, so we can mold things out and attach them directly to. Um, rather than going the route of the, uh, um, the plasti dip, we still had to seal it, and so we kind of used some epoxy uh, to go over it with the coating. And at that point, we planned on hitting them with a uh, primer and then going to paint and what we instead found was this coating that we did used and <laughs> took the long road on putting these things together that way. And then we finished up here uh, with some extra detail work on that side. Um, we still could do some things like a, a wash over. One thing that I did between last show and this show, other than finishing up all the panels, is I hit them both with a clear coat spray that's going to help them stay, uh, the, the paint stay nice and shiny, less likely to get dinged and whatnot. And we may still want a little bit of ding look, um, not necessarily a realistic ding. And we could accomplish that with a little bit of a wash or some paints or things like that. I wouldn't want to do that with the elven helm because I want it to be as, as shiny and elf-like as possible. Uh, but it may be something that we could do in some of the, the 3D work on the front of the helm there. Look at this. Look at that. That's there you go. And we've got some straps in place. We've got some additional stuff in place. And and we have a couple of helms that really need outfits. Uh, this is the last show of this season. And starting next season, uh, we've been playing with this hour-long format every other week. And we're going to continue doing this hour-long format every other week. We are. Which is going to let us build bigger and better things taking our time and doing it. I, so, I like that concept because also it, help, it lets us work on our projects a little bit more with you guys who when you're viewing in, you get to see more of a process versus little segments, so. Right, um, and, but I definitely like the direction we're going where we're working on projects uh, rather than just quick craft build. Uh, the, the whole point of this show is to get people inspired to go out and make stuff. And so whether we do that by throwing together uh, random stuff or whether we take our time <coughs> and make some of the nicer stuff um, without spending very much, really. Um, you know, I hope this is uh, something that you get a good takeaway and say, hey, I could use that in my project. I could get started on mine. So next season, as we start doing some more of that, 
I, I, I cannot express enough how excited I am for next season. It is I, definitely. I can't gonna... let you in on it just oh. yet. You're gonna have to wait Me. and see. But what we have planned is the biggest project I have ever done. That is, and I really, I helped make a seven foot tall golem. So. <laughs> It's the biggest project I've done. It's something that I've been designing uh, in my head <laughs> for about 20 years now. I I um I personally am really looking forward to it. Can can I give just a No, 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 no. Slight? But here's ah. the thing. Here's the thing. When you tune in 2 weeks from tonight at our same time 8:30 to 9:30, be prepared. Get ready. Pee break beforehand. Have everything ready. We don't have commercials. Nope. You got to be ready. Tell your friends. Tell your Renfest friends. Tell your cosplay friends. Tell your LARPer friends. And here's the hit. Tell your brony friends that they will want to tune in because all of you will be interested in exactly what we're doing. We are creating cosplay history. We're going to do something, hopefully, You'll, you'll see whether we actually do it or not, but we're going to attempt something that has never been done. Oh, wish us luck. <laughs> At all. We may actually have some uh, some additional help. Um, mm -hmm. yep, uh, Joe are. Jennings from Colony Drop Cosplay is uh, hopefully going to stop by and help us out. He does a lot of uh, larger scale prop work for them and has a good mind for engineering because this project is gonna need some engineering. It's it a lot of, and I think of quite a bit of engineering for this one that we're I'm telling you, to go with. When you, you gotta I will say, be ready for this. I will say when he when he told me I was in the car and I was on my car phone driving and everything. I'm like, what? And I actually had to pull over. I'm like, wait a minute. Because I couldn't even concentrate driving anymore. The, 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 we're going to do what? Yes. We're going to do this? Yes. And we're going and we're gonna to have somebody on, and we're, the other person's going to... We're we're going to what? Make, We're going to make history is what we're going to do. Yeah, I think we will. Starting in two weeks. Starting in two weeks. Uh, we're still going to keep on going uh, back and forth with Brad's Red, Red Web. Uh, we've got some other shows. Kaiju has some other shows lined up uh, for a variety of things that are going to be going on during the time. Oh, the the sparkle. I keep looking at the camera, and I keep looking down at my sparkly helmet. <laughs> I can't even craft or talk of anymore. I've got sparklies, and it's done, Jeff. It's I done. Love it. And I am now Ooh, done with my shiny, helmet. Shiny, shiny. Look at this webbing effect that I created on this helmet here. You, it's just, it, look at that. It was fantastic. Um, I have a piece that will come back here. I'll have some probably a little bit more webbing effect that comes down with the like spider nest on the side. So instead of a bird nest like Robin wanted. You, know, you were talking about at one point head. some sort of a little candle-like thing sticking up. I think if you went, honestly, with some sort of an LED-type candle, it yep. would still look like a candle. It would be safe. Uh, it would still go with what you're trying to go for there. I can have, like, uh, I can do actual fake wax with hot glue, um, have it come down right here, and then also I can have it to where it looks like a giant spider nest is right in the back of my head right here. I think that'd be really neat. Now, one Something thing that we like, didn't uh, get to on yours is right along here getting a little bit of paint mm -hmm. on the trim. That's all right. Um, I started kind of doing that with mine, but and in fact, I could even use some of this stuff for for mine or, or either this, one if we wanted. But this I think is a I, still I, works I, I gotta well. definitely say this is definitely a pro, a piece that I've been uh, really wanting to do, and it's going to come out in full throttle come March. So you guys, uh, if you ever attend local Renaissance fairs. There you go. Here you got to stop and Texas. say hi yep, to come and say Jeff. Hi. And uh, I like check it, it out up oh, yeah, close. Shiny, those horns are. Yeah, yeah. These, it turned out real great. And and again, even the, the, the painting that was done, now that it's all subtle, uh, it's something you can't see as much from a distance. But when you get up close, <laughs> it's, 
It's really cool there. It's amazing. Some of the fungus could probably go with like a light purpley wash I'm just to give it that sort of off color. I definitely and that's wanna... one thing that I didn't quite get to. No, it's okay. It's okay. I, I, overall, I just, I cannot thank you so much for getting me inspired and being a partner with me in Combat Creations. Uh, it's just overall, this has been a lot of fun and I'm really looking forward to our next project next season. I think that is definitely going to blow everyone's mind away. I think we're going to just have a huge blast. And, you know, also a huge special thanks from us to you guys at Kaiju Labs Media. Thank you so much for allowing us our opportunity to have our show here for the viewers and everything else. We got our crew in the back. We, we definitely have to thank our producer, Lance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he puts up with us, and I know... Uh, we we love him. We love him. We give him a hard time. Lance we love does him put up so with much. us a lot. We he for for those who have watched us for a while now mm -hmm. uh, on earlier episodes, Lance came on the the set with us and helped build some things. He did. We he made did. Some, he was a guest. That that crazy ray gun that was that was with Lance while you were gone. I remember uh, that. They, they made some really cool stuff, and now he knows what to look at on the cameras. Because of what well, we start really, doing And stuff. the really cool thing is, is that, you know, uh, we had, uh, Lance was on a few different episodes, and then now he's producer of the network. So, yeah. I mean, they're, it's amazing. So if you guys at home want to join us, please go to Kaiju Loves Media, message us through Facebook, and just, We make boom. cool stuff. We do. We burn we can things get you on the with show. lasers. It's you, great. You told totally, you got to come over sometime and play with I the do. laser. I, I do. I work do. With the, we, it's not for play. It's a working laser. Uh, we work with the laser. It's, it's a working. It's a working laser. We put we put holes in things that need holes, precise holes, laser like precision. It's a little terrifying <laughs> watching that thing go in motion. I'm just like, what? <laughs> that actually is burning through. Wow. That's all right. You 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 totally missed. We had a we, you know. Normally we have uh, we just say here's what we're gonna do and we roll with it and are careful. Uh, but we actually had a safety meeting before. And Gavin was on that episode and I said, Gavin, this this laser will destroy your vision instantly. We can don't get your face near it. And so we had uh, um, somebody from that helps out with the the crew in here. And uh, Gavin said, oh, come around the table. Just duck. <sighs> well, that's face level with the laser. We just had a meeting on that. It's ridiculous. So you're adding still a few more. I can't help it. I, I know I'm going to be you adding You got hot glue. You got to use hot glue. hot glue. It's great. And I did have not burn myself. I'm so happy. No, I just I just really, I really like it. I'm, all right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. See, I love crafting! Part of crafting is making the thing. The other part of crafting well is knowing when to stop. That's and why I'm not touching mine again. I'm gonna wear it, I'm gonna wear it home, but my car's not tall enough. So I'm gonna wear it home with my head out the window and uh, driving. Because <laughs> it's gonna be the most <laughs> It's gonna be I need a I need a, a sunroof so that I can wear my elf helm while driving down the street. Because uh, we're, we're in Austin, that that sort of thing would it, it, everybody just be cool with it. That's like a thing. All right, I'm you done. Got, you gotta stop. You gotta stop. I gotta stop. I gotta. You stop. gotta stop. All but right. Now I'm happy with it. Let's put. You know what? Let's put our helmets on before the end of the show. This right here, everyone. All right. Well, we hope you guys all enjoyed uh, our season this year. And, you know, tune in about two weeks. We're going to try to make LARP history and cosplay history, whatever it is. It's just overall, I'm really looking forward to this. So, everyone, I'm Jeffrey. I'm Chris. Continue, Continue crafting. crafting.